Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers. I want to show you how you can access the upcoming events of your course, whatever course you're in. So let me go into Moodle training here and manage a Moodle site, which is a course for only a select few who are graduates of Moodle for Teachers Moodle training. So um, I want to show you how to go into events. Notice there are actually four events, one for each week. This is a five-week course, free, of course. Everything on Moodle for Teachers is free. So there are two ways of accessing. One is the confused way, which is by going to the dates. Notice it's every Sunday, because that'll take you to a general page. Trust me, you can try it out. A general page with all the upcoming events on the site. And what we're interested in is only what's relevant to this course. Our next event is for week two. Notice this is the section for week two over here. Let me just move that. All right. So here it is again, the section for week two over here. Now, the live online events will appear a week before. So the first one was in the overview, but it's not there anymore since I delete all the Zoom meetings. So if I go into week one, I'll be able to get the recording. The recording will be on the playlist on YouTube. So if you scroll down, you'll get to the recording. I'll say recording, and that's what's going to happen to the live online class when it's over. So the live online class will appear a week before week two, which means in week one at the very end. What you need to do is access this one. So if you click on the title, which is users, the same title as week two, you'll be able to join the class once it's available, which means on Sunday, July 12 at 8 a.m., perhaps a little bit before since I like to open the class a bit before, sometimes half an hour, but at least 15 to 10 minutes before, so try that. And then it'll say, instead of uh, unable to join at this time, it'll say join, and you will. So let's go back to week one. I want to show you what happens here. Week two is called users, because you'll be learning about users. And this will also appear on the right here under the title. So this is what you access. So let's do that. Let's access the title, and we could do that in the section, under the section topics as well. So next, you're going to go to an activity. Now, notice this is an activity, and that's confusing, but that's what Zoom meetings are. They're an activity. So you're going to click on Go to Activity, and this is where you'll be able to access the link that says Unable to Join at This Time. There is no link available until the time of the session. Now, these are all the sessions. You'll be able to view them. Notice the duration and the sessions. So there's week two, week three, four, and five. So you'll just have to wait for the time of the session. I hope this has been clear. You will not see the link until such time. So let's go back into manage and again don't go into the date because when you go into the date you'll just be faced with confusing information where all the events will appear the monthly view for june that's over the one for july and so on so you don't want this but if you do go into july 12th you'll be able to get a few of these live online sessions, Zoom meetings, and you won't know which one goes with what course. Even though it does say week two, here it says Tallow, which is another course, and here it says open discussions, and you don't want to go there. So let's go back into our course, which is manage a Moodle site, and wait until the session is available by going into the title, the title of the session. So what time is 8 a.m.? You'll have to go into your profile 
and set the time in your time zone to make it easier. And you do this by going into preferences and you set the time. Notice it's under your profile right here. So let's go into profile. I'm going to change mine so that you'll see a different time zone. So right now it's the server time zone, but I'm going to change that to UTC. Let's update my profile so that it appears. Let's go back to my courses and you'll see another time. And manage a Moodle, which is right here. And uh, notice what it says now. It doesn't say 8 a.m. anymore. It now says 12 p.m. because that's UTC. So make sure that you add your time so you know exactly when your session will be available. It's at 12 p.m. UTC. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment box below and subscribe to my channel.